Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Still working on prepping the uh, LX45 for the uh, double deucey trip. And uh, just wanted to go through a couple things with you. Um, get some light in here. So, we got all, we got all this stuff um, in the bed in the last episode. If you uh, want to see more about that, go back and watch that one. Um, what we're working on today is starting to go through kind of some of the inside stuff. And one of the things I really wanted to do on the inside, here I'll give you a quick tour. So, oh, this is the uh, inside of the LX45. And still have the top panels on, or the window panels and the doors. But I think maybe it'll show up in the microphone. Um, so, it's an all metal top and that has some drawbacks. And so when I was kind of rushing to finish this thing, uh, originally to go to the off-road expo show in Pomona and a Rubicon trip, I, I didn't want to go crazy with it, but I do wish I would have done something on the roof for, uh, noise. So, uh, all the body panels, basically are uh, aluminum and they're an eighth inch or thicker so they are pretty thick the rear window panels i think are three sixteenths the door panels not including the glass stuff is like a double layer of three sixteenths um, so it's not that it's flimsy but it does still carry quite a bit of sound uh, especially on the highway especially with the, the window panels in and especially at uh, speed. So like, um, call it 55 and over the aerodynamics of a essentially, uh, 19, you know, sixties vehicle starts to, starts to be a problem. And so what I, uh, want to do for this trip is pull the top panel off and put a closed cell, uh, boat decking foam over the whole thing. So it's, it's self, self, it's self adhesive. It's adhesive foam, uh, that's got a really nice, uh, tenacious, uh, adhesion to it. Uh, it's meant to be outside. It's meant to live on a boat out in the sun, uh, warm, hot, uh, on aluminum, on, uh, fiberglass, on things like that. So I think it should be a pretty good fit for the top panel on the inside uh, with the LX45. I'm doing it in uh, kind of a light gray uh, to match the the Corbu seats that I have in here. And I think that'll just make keep it, you know, kind of light and airy. I think if it was black or something like that, it would get it would feel a lot smaller in here. So um, I need to do some cleaning in here. As you can see, it is very dirty uh, right now. Um, but uh, the next step, I'm going to pull that top panel off. It's basically bolted in around the perimeter of this uh, cage. And then there's two, two fasteners on the outside front of the windshield frame. And then it just comes off the top. There is a foam uh, weather stripping that I think I'm going to try and uh, do something different there. Maybe some like uh, roof not roof, roof adhesive, but maybe some like sealant, silicone uh, type sealant that's not permanent, but better than foam, not quite as messy as like a, a, a butyl rubber type, you know, sticky mess kind of thing. So somewhere kind of in between that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. I do think I'm going to have to take uh, the top off um, outside. Uh, I don't think I have enough roof space actually in the garage to take this thing off with the garage drawer, uh, opener in the way. So yeah.
should have done a bloopers of this. <laughs> Got the camera set up on the on the top of the the roof of the garage. So See if this thing will lift off of here fairly easy. Please let it lift off fairly easy. Well, that's pretty easy so far. I don't really know what the, or I don't remember what the magic formula is for this thing to come off. I do remember it being pretty tight. There we go. Looks like I had some. Weather stripping on the front, but that wasn't too bad. Uh, All right, that was fun. ever driven this thing with the with the top top off feels very weird but hopefully I can get some of this see this like old weather stripping and stuff I'm gonna have to peel off or something but uh it's off cool all right now I need to uh well, I guess I got to wash that, wash that roof panel out, make some templates and cut, uh, cut that foam to fit in there. Pull this thing back in. Oh, I should probably get the camera before I get it stuck up on the, <laughs> stuck on the roof here. Hey, how you doing?
got the top panel back on and uh, bolted down again. This is uh, basically a, a boat deck foam. It's like a 3 8 thick EVA closed cell foam. This one has a, I don't know if you can see that with the action camera, but it's got like a textured finish on it. Uh, just some like lines that run front to back. So uh, yeah, I think it made an improvement. It definitely helped with the echo in here. Um, so hopefully that translates into less road noise, uh, echo noise, stuff like that. And definitely gave me some ideas for future builds and noise stuff and other products to look at, I think. Uh, I do like this this stuff, but I think it might be too, too uh, solid to be a really good noise dampening. Uh, it's it's bound to help. Don't get me wrong. I'm just wondering if there could be something better out there. So anyways, that's done uh, Got that all back back on and bolted in and Now we can get back to uh, packing and cleaning on this thing for the double deucey trip Yeah, getting close now only a couple days away. I think I'll drop one more prep video before we go uh, That'll be this one and then uh, there'll be a gap because I'll be on the trail for a week and a bit uh, by the time I drive over there and drive back hopefully get some little stuff in between um, yeah pretty cool happy